The Quest Sound Pro SEDL Sound Level Meter, SLM, comes with instructional manual, windscreen, microphone, USB cable, extra alkaline batteries, CD software, calibration certificate, wrist strap, a calibration adapter for the Quest QC10 calibrator, and the unit itself. Please confirm that you have received everything. To get started, attach the wrist strap to the unit. If you are taking a survey outdoors, you will also want to attach the windscreen. Press the on button and turn the unit on. The unit has been preset and pre-calibrated. If you would like to verify by performing a pre- and or post-calibration, you will need to order the QC10 calibrator. See the Quest Noise Pro calibration video for instructions on calibration. Turn the unit on. Then, from the main start menu, select View Current Study and push the center button. Your survey will begin with readings being displayed on the screen. Move the unit to where you would like to take your readings. The unit is not data logging at this time. To data log, push the Run button. An arrow will appear in the top left-hand corner of the screen and a timer begins. When your survey is complete, pause the unit by pushing the Run Pause button. The arrow changes to a double bar. This creates a study within a session. If you want to download the data, stop the unit by pushing and holding the stop button. The unit will save the data after a three second countdown. The data is saved as a session. You can create several different sessions by repeating these steps. Install the CD software. Attach the USB cable to the bottom of the unit and to the PC. Follow the instructions on the PC to install the Quest Suite Professional 2 software if this is the first time using the software. Open the software by clicking on Instrument Type, SPSEDL, click on Retrieve Data, select the test folders you want to retrieve, and then click on Download, located on the left-hand side of the screen. The data will open, and you will need to click on the Sessions for your report. Tables and or graphs are available for your report format. You can either print or export the data to a different document. If you need to change out the batteries, remove the battery pack, remove the batteries, and replace with four AA alkaline batteries provided. When done, close out of the software, disconnect everything. Push and hold the off button to turn off the unit. After a three second countdown, the unit will shut off. Repack and ship back to Galson Laboratories. Questions? Contact SGS Galson by phone or IH Live Chat. 1-800-227-5278